Hi everyone. I'm Tracy, Movement and Alignment Guide, and today is my second video in my series on how to get better balance. And today we're going to focus on strengthening the feet and the ankles. Um, I'll make sure that there's a link available so you can see the first video in my series, um, but also all of them are available on my website at tracyreneestafford.com, um, and there I have different exercises and stretches and meditations all to help improve strength from the inside out and balance body and mind and you can find out about my one-to-one -one online teaching there now i wanted to do this series on improving balance for two main reasons um, number one to help people avoid falling because when we fall it can create a whole host of other problems obviously um, but also, I want us to work on improving our balance because it can help bring our attention to strengthening the body from the inside out. Um, so for example, if our core muscles, our abdominal muscles are weak, that's going to show up in our balance. Our balance is going to be poor. But if our core is weak, it means that there's also unnecessary stress happening in our lower back. And the spine can be stressed too much, and that can lead to degenerative issues like arthritis. Um, and also, if our core is weak, it means that we don't have our full power to help us with all of our daily activities like golfing and running and walking and cycling and even daily things like picking up our children, our grandchildren or being in the garden. So this uh, whole focus on balance is for balance but also to help us build up our deep strength to protect our spine and our whole body for the rest of our lives and also to help us have our maximum power and performance through all of our activities that we do. So there's many, many benefits. Um, and I wanna focus on the feet uh, and the ankles because um, the feet and the ankles, having them strong is really important in themselves, but also they affect the knees really greatly. Um, when the feet and the ankles are neglected, there can be uneven stress on the knees and twisting and things like this because really the knees get their main information from the feet and the ankles and the pelvis and when they're not strong then the knees have to work excessively and they can start to break down so we're gonna start there um, this first one that we're gonna do is pretty safe and accessible for everybody um, but it's gonna be done lying down I'm gonna show it lying down on the floor you can use a mat if you want if there's anything that you want to have underneath your head a pillow anything like that but you can also do this lying down on your bed um, and you can be having your feet up on the wall or on the headboard as long as the headboard is stable okay so I'll just move this down Okay, so we're gonna go in to lying on the floor and how I would do that is to lie down sideways and then slide yourself up into position so that your feet are up on the wall. Okay, so have your feet pointing straight ahead, all 10 toes forward, and your knees as well pointing straight ahead. So you want your center of your knee to be lining up with the second and the third toe and not rolling out or rolling in. Okay, straight ahead. And again, just make sure that you're comfortable lying down. So if you need any pillow or anything underneath your back or underneath your neck, make sure you have that there. And we'll begin um, with the feet just a little bit above the knees. And we're gonna begin with toe tapping. Okay, I'm just doing this with my hands to help make it really clear. Now, this toe tapping is gonna be strengthening the ankles and the shins. You'll feel it there already, I'm sure. I don't want you to do this just with your toes, okay? So the whole ankle, like really if you can think of your ankle right um, at the joint that it's hinging there and not just in your toes, okay? And letting it be quite loose and floppy. So as free, don't think of using your muscles. The muscles will work, you'll feel them in the shins, I'm sure, but trying to let it be as floppy as you can in your ankles and really evenly, so you're not rolling through the outside of the foot or the inside of the foot more. Okay, we're gonna switch now and we're gonna lift the heels up, up and down. 
And so I want you to keep the ball of the foot evenly on the wall. Okay, the toes are spread and relaxed as you just lift your heel. Okay, so noticing if you're rolling out on your ankle or in, you want to try and keep it even on all 10 toes and keep your knees pointing straight ahead. The knees will lift and lower, but they're not going to roll in or out. Okay, you want to be relaxed through your hips and just feeling real weight through your pelvis. Okay, so then we're going to switch. I'm sure, like I say, you can feel that already is we're gonna do the sweeping of the feet. Now for this, it's a little more tricky. I want you to keep your knees pointing straight ahead so the knees are not moving with it. Okay, hold the knees still, and right from the ankle joint, a feeling of sweeping inward. Okay, so it's like you're scraping out the last bit of ice cream at the bottom of the pail, or you can think of digging a hole into the wall, okay? So there's an inward motion, again, knees staying still. Now we'll reverse, and we're gonna sweep outward, okay? So again, the knees are staying still, your toes are staying spread, and it's an outward pushing. So again, you can think of scraping out the last bit of ice cream from the pail. You can think of digging a hole into the wall, pushing away. And all of this will be feeling through the shins. Okay, so now we're gonna do this with the heels. So keep the ball of the foot rooted and have the heels going inward. Now, the knees will go up and down, but they're not gonna go in and out, okay? So keep the knees pointing straight ahead. Let this happen just at your ankle joint. And the ball of the foot might pivot and slide on the wall a little bit. That's fine, that's totally fine, no problem. Okay, then we're gonna reverse that and the heels are gonna sweep out. Okay, out, again, the knees, they will lift and lower, but they don't go in and out. They stay pointing straight ahead. And again, the, the ball of the foot might slide and pivot a little bit on the wall and that's fine okay and relax okay finally we're going to do crawling up the wall so i want you to spread your toes reach them up the wall and then pull your heel in like you're a little inchworm going up the wall okay so you spread your toes crawl up and then inchworm your heel up yeah, I want you to do this slowly and not just with your toes crawling up, but I want you to feel, if you can see my hand here, I want you to feel the arch of the foot really doming up so that your toes are working, but more so the whole ball of the foot doming up, okay, bringing the heel in. And once you've gone up all the way, you can, we're gonna go down. So you'll curl your toes, dome your foot, and then spread the heel. So in exactly the same way, we don't do this just with the toes. You dome right from the arch of the foot and then slide the heel out. Dome and slide. That can be a little bit tricky if you haven't done that before. We're just gonna do that one more time going up. Spread the toes and dome your way up. Okay, right from the arch of the foot. Okay, so not just the toes. Keeping the knees pointing straight ahead moving evenly through the inner and the outer ankle, and then reversing, curling the toes, doming the foot, and then spreading the heel down, okay? Inchworming your way down, not just using the toes, but the whole arch of the foot. Good, okay, and then just relax your feet, roll to the side, and make your way up to standing. Okay, so standing tall, we're gonna do a balance check. And so, if you can be standing with your weight on all, or have your toes pointing straight ahead, and have your weight on the four corners of your foot. And so the four corners, again, is the big toe mound and the baby toe mound. So not the toes themselves, the toes should be quite loose and relaxed, but more the metatarsal at the ball of the foot. So the big toe mound, the baby toe mound, and then the inner heel and the outer heel. So feeling your weight on all four corners. 
Feel a weight on your tailbone pointing straight down and the abdominals drawn in and a string pulling through the crown of your head. And just begin shifting your weight slightly forward and slightly back, keeping the weight on all four corners of your feet. Okay, so the toes stay down. And just move in the range forward and back that you can do without tensing or gripping your body. Just seeing what your limit is. Okay, and then side to side. Okay, side to side, keeping your whole foot rooted down through all four corners. Okay, keeping your hips and your shoulders relatively level. And then we're gonna do like a circle. So if you can go forward to the side, to the back, to the side, and just keep going in that direction. If you can feel underneath each foot, it's almost like there's a clock, and you wanna bring your weight to all the numbers on the clock. Okay, and then going the other way, and just seeing where you can go, what your range of motion is, where your body is not gripping or tensing. Okay, so you're using more the deeper inner postural muscles of your body rather than gripping from the outside of your body. Okay, bring your weight back to center. We'll do one more balance exercise by bringing your weight all the way onto your right foot. So feel your weight through all four corners of that foot and pull up through your right inner and outer ankle all the way up the inner and the outer thigh. So the muscles are hugging in towards the bones. Okay, so you feel some tone there. You want to keep the pelvis level and bring your left foot on top of your right and just stay breathing in as relaxed a way as you can, just testing your balance. Okay, so on your standing leg, that weight is on the, tr the four corners of your foot. You're pulling up through the inner and the outer ankle and you're holding your hips really level. Okay, switch over to the other side. So all your weight goes over to your left foot. You're pulling up through the inner and the outer thigh and you bring your right foot on top and just staying here. Okay, breathing, trying to feel the toes spread, having that sense of the foot spreading out wide, but the leg muscles hugging in, hugging in your inner and your outer thigh, hugging in your hips, hugging in your core. Okay, and land back down. Okay, so I hope that that was interesting and informative and fun, and um, that you can feel how it can help strengthen the body and will work all the way up through the knees, through the hips, through the core, through the spine in future videos to help improve your balance, to help improve your inner stability and your inner strength so that you can have your best performance in all of the activities that you wanna do through your day and through your life. Thanks for watching, be well.